Okay, Star Trek Online. I have a bunch of characters. I'm not going to talk a whole bunch, but I might talk a whole bunch, but I don't know. I'm going to create a new Discovery character, because I don't have one. I started one a few weeks ago, but I didn't really like the audio and had some exporting problems, so I'm starting over. Sure, Discovery. I'm going to go with a female. Vulcan. I have like 10 characters, and I think only two are female. But they're my badasses. And I will go with... Uh, engineer? Why not? Uh, yeah. My other two females are tactical. Now, they have a crap load of character creation options. That one. It's presets. You know what? I like her hair already. <clears throat> Maybe. Yeah, I like that anyway. That's fine. Color. She doesn't get out much. Why not? <clears throat> Body. 5.11? Jeez. Oh, jeez. 6.6. Six. That's awesome. Or 5.6. That's pretty much where I am. I don't know how tall Vulcans usually are. I thought one. Sure, that's fine. Training day. So this will be character creation and it will be the two tutorials. I still can't believe how much things have changed. We hadn't heard from the Klingons for years. And now we have. Now, the Federation is at war. That was probably the last thing on my mind when I got here. It was the same for you, right? We came to Starfleet Academy to become explorers. Not all of us are fighters. Some of us are engineers, healers, scientists. We've been working hard, on the ground, and in space. We learned how things worked on a starship. And we learned how to work as a team. We've been getting ready to boldly go where no one has gone before. And today's your big day. Today you graduate and begin your career as a Starfleet officer. It's gonna be amazing.
Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day, and you soon will be embarking on your training cruise, where the bulk of the ship is manned by cadets like yourself. This tutorial will introduce you to the basic controls of Star Trek Online, including movement, combat, and interacting with characters. Everybody pretty much knows how to play a game. There's a lot of preset stuff, keybinds that you kind of want to get used to, but everybody plays it a little different. So, ground, there's shooter mode. These two here, these would be using my heals and reviving. So if somebody on my team gets injured, I can run up and heal them. That's all I'm gonna do for now for spade for ground. Then I have my space stuff, but that'll be a little different. I like I zoom in. Be mouse scroll up. Target next friend. Mouse scroll down. Mainly want to target friends to assist with healing them in space. every time you get a little pop-up of somebody talking to you, your ship will come to a full stop. Kind of bothersome. Then, if you're attacking one target and the target gets blown up, your ship will stop firing. So, I do toggle never cancels. Never cancels shooting. So I'll just switch to another target and my ship will continue shooting. That's good enough for now. Hey, there you are! Are you excited? I am very excited. Pretty soon we'll be reporting for duty on the cadet training cruise. Are you kidding? I set up a triple layer alarm sequence to notify me when the postings went up. I think I knew before some of Captain Schaefer's staff. Two words. Chief. Engineer. Right? Still not sure if this isn't one of Finnegan's pranks. He's done stuff like this, you know. A fortune, Kirk. Oh, uh, before I forget, Lifeson is looking for you. Actually, I think I see him over there. You should probably find out what he wants. I'm running. 
shift will run. Standard is like a jog. There is a walk keybind, which you used to have to actually type in, but now they've added it. So I like to use N, so I don't use N for anything else. That and then there's walking, which is not working properly. Here's Lifeson, one of the best tactical cadets in your class. Uh oh, oh, after Evelyn, of course. <laughs> there you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final, and for all the other times you've helped me. Seriously, I might not have made the cadet cruise if it weren't for you. I hope Schaefer recognizes all you've done to lead our class. Have you got your assignment yet? Well, Lieutenant DeSilna has all of the assignments now. I'd see what she knows. Oh, there's Ian. Let's find out what his big news is. and Peart, with a combined IQ of 231, which, I've heard, is almost up to Tamav's rating. That's the rumor, anyway. Oh, hey, I've been looking for you. Yes, I took the linguistics final again, and I aced it! <laughs> you and me both. It wouldn't have happened if I didn't follow your advice. You saw that I wasn't at my best that day and told me to give it another shot. So... I did. That perfect score really made a difference. Now I'm qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Neat. Thanks. Always good to have options, right? Kiro took your advice too. I think it worked out for him since he's slightly less scowly than usual. Let me know if I'm right, okay? I think I see Kiro over there. Come on. Yeah, let's jog everywhere. Now, I do not have the graphics on my computer all the way up to where what the game can have. Graphics. So you could do it just based off of your CPU, off your video card, or you could customize whatever you want. I have some things high, some things low. All depends on what your computer can handle. Mine is actually heating up quite a bit right now. So let's see how this works. And here we have the smartest person in your class, or so I've heard. It's not entirely fair. Kiro is a super genius and he's built like a brick shit. Uh, uh, yep, yes. Cadet, it is agreeable to be in your presence. Your advice regarding Federation history was advantageous. It allowed me to pass the final test with satisfactory marks. I am pleased. In the interest of camaraderie, I now inform you that Captain Schaefer is still selecting the senior staff for the upcoming training crews. There is a 78.4% chance that you will be selected for a position. Based on my current statistical models, Lieutenant Tassil may have more conclusive data on the map. Okay, continue. <sighs> Imagine being in a conversation with somebody and they stop talking and just say, continue. I'll wait out here. Tassil should be inside. Good afternoon, cadet. How may I be of assistance? It is. I will access your assignment data now. One moment. Hmm. Fascinating. Your assignment is not listed. Inquiries on the matter have been directed to Captain Schaefer himself. That remains to be seen. I suggest you report to Captain Schaefer and ask him personally. 
He is in the office behind me. Man. Imagine getting hired for a new job where you scored quite well and then they say, oh yeah, you need to go talk to the boss first. And uh... What's up, dude? Good to see you, Cadet. Today's the big day. Congratulations. Judging by that look on your face, I trust this visit concerns your assignment on the training cruise. Yes, sir. Uh, well, you can relax. I'm happy to report that you won't be my new bilge officer. <laughs> Far from it. There is a matter I'd like to address, however. Your academic record is impressive, but I don't see your results for the advanced phaser training program. Can you shed some light on that for me? Uh, I'm not tactical. The Federation is at war with Klingon Empire, Cadet. Shouldn't need to remind you that Klingons enjoy close combat with their enemies. That in mind, I want everyone on my senior staff to complete that program. No exceptions. I did indeed. There's a place for a cadet like you on my bridge, once you finish that phase, of course. My chief engineer and tactical officer have programmed a training simulator for you. I look forward to seeing your results. Cadets Tilly and Surveyor, respectively. They've been working on the simulation for me for some time now. Interesting pair, those two. Some of the staff question bringing Tilly along on the cruise as a junior, but her professors assure me that she's up to the task. Indeed, she'll meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the training, and I'll see you when you're finished. That's all for now, Cadet. Dismissed. Yes, sir. That's what my three-year-old says to me. Yes, sir. I got the chief engineer spot. Yes, it's just for the cadet training cruise, but still, how many juniors get to go on the cruise, let alone as a department head? This is exciting. Ooh, okay. Ooh, deep breath. In bed. <laughs> Enough about me. Uh, where did you end up? Yeah? I was wondering why you wanted us to set up the program for you. Now I know. Hey, I should warn you, it can get pretty lively. With the Klingons and aggression and... I should probably stop telling you about the program now. Oh, no, don't worry. You'll do fine. There's no doubt in my mind. Come on, I'll take you there. Savea's waiting over at the simulator. You know how crazy she gets on people. Finnegan actually graduated. I guess the Irish are lucky after all. No one was assigned to a Constitution class. Not even you. That's crazy. How many times did you run the Kobayashi Maru? Kirk's up to two now. We better hurry or we'll lose our spot. Ooh, I hate running. Uh-oh. There's Ev. And she's looking impatient. There you are. About time. Program's loaded and ready to go. I hope this is your lucky simulator. It's been nothing but bad luck for Kirk. <laughs> Man, if they harp on Kirk one more time, there's gonna be a problem. Like the business end of the phaser and the enemy, not yourself. Sorry, Captain Schaefer told us both not to give you any help, no matter how nicely you ask. You got through quantum mechanics, you could get through this. It's pretty cutting edge. Tilly and I have been using actual combat data from the field to make it as realistic as possible. You'll have to find the rest out on your own. Captain Chaffer's orders. Yeah, those are pretty useful in phaser training, huh? Too bad tricorders don't have a stun setting. You get top marks. Kidding! I'm kidding. The phasers are in the armory by the holodecks. Grab one there. <sighs> Running is the worst.
Just go to the center of the room. Nice work, Cadet. A few points below Severe's personal best, but it was your first try. You'll have plenty of opportunities to knock her from her perch at the top of the list once we're underway. That I do, Cadet. First officer's station is yours. That's if you want it, of course. The bilge officer's spot is still open. Thought you might say that. <coughs> You've done well here, Cadet. I expect that trend to continue, onward and upward, throughout your career. Likewise. I'll see you on the bridge then, and congratulations. Wow, look at you, first officer. You're gonna do a great job. Congratulations. That thing the captain said about the bilge officer spot was pretty funny, though. I mean, we don't even have those anymore. Wait, do we? Anyway, first officer, how does it feel? Let's see, how should I answer? Um, well, I'll go oh, with that one. Dial it down a little there, Admiral Awesome. If your head gets bigger than two meters, you won't fit through any doors. Seriously, Captain Schaefer didn't make that decision lightly. He believes in you, just like me. Even though you got me blown up in the Kobayashi Maru. Awkward. <laughs> well, we should get going to the shuttle bay. Everybody's waiting for the ceremonial send-off toast. Guess who gets to give that? Now hear this. All cadets report to Shuttle Bay to prepare for departure. Go without her. <laughs> Ah, oh, she made it. Just ahead. I know Vulcans don't get nervous, but the rest of us do, and this is our first real assignment, so, uh, how are you gonna play it? Inspirational? Heartwarming? No, no, um, just try not to be too logical, okay? It's, uh, it's a toast, not a debate. Anyway, I'll meet you at the bar. No pressure. You'll do great. Starfleet Academy. A school. You graduate and you go get drunk on property. Although, yeah, there's not much alcohol left in Starfleet. I'll let you guys read all that stuff. If you want to pause it and read it, go for it. All cadets, please board your shuttles. Actually, run into anyone to hail? I am a Vulcan. I have no ego to bruise over not making chief of engineering. I'll be chief of security. Not that anything ever happens on these cruises besides drills and simulations. So, you're the XO? Honestly, I'm kind of relieved. A lot of responsibility in that job. I will serve as medical officer. Refrain from injuring yourself or others during this assignment. Are you just trying to get out of work? I'll be at the helm this time. I wonder if Schaefer will let me try a barrel roll. Are you ready to head to the ship? Sure, why not?
I can't believe we're finally doing this. Ooh, 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 look over there. That's the Glen, one of the new Crossfield-class ships. No one really knows much about her, or her capabilities. Well, at Starfleet Academy, anyway. Maybe we'll work on a ship like that someday. For now, our ship's here. She's a Malakowski class, and has a chance to ride and joy. Good speed for her class, definitely maneuverable. A stout, solid, battle-proven design, for sure. I can't wait to see what she can do. Let's land and find out. then head to our stations. Oh man, I cannot wait to see the engine room. My engine room. Yeah! Continue. Sylvia Tilly, acting chief engineer, reporting for duty. Duty. Welcome aboard. What's your name, cadet? Jackie McHertz. Ah, uh, yes, here we are. Acting first officer. You're all set. Report to Captain Schaefer on the bridge. He's been expecting you. Use the turbo lift behind me. It'll take you directly there. Okie dokie. Is that the turbo lift? That looks like a hallway. I don't see no turbo lift behind you. the bridge. Ooh, pretty. Is there a shortage of chairs? Ah, there you are. Computer, note the executive officer has reported for duty in the ship's log. I'll come aboard next time. You're right on time. All decks have reported in. We're ready to get underway. Let's start things simple by getting the old girl out of dry dock, huh? Contact dock control and get clearance to depart. After we're cleared, close the shuttle bay doors and disable the tractor moorings. Dock control has cleared us to depart. Acknowledged. Carry on. Shuttle bay doors are closed. Ah, there you are. Ah. Right on time. Shuttle bay doors are... Acknowledged. Carry on. Take us out. One quarter impulse. Yeah, like I'm gonna correct my boss on the first five minutes of my shift. Though, would a Vulcan do it? I think they would. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Acknowledged, Helm. Set a course for Vulcan. Warp 4. Course laid in, sir. Engage. Stress call from the SS Fortuna. Audio only. Put them through, comms. This is the Fortuna. Can you hear me? So, uh, warp code is failing. We could really use some help here. Let them know we're on our way. Helm, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA, three minutes. Transporter room. Prepare to beam over survivors. Sir. Sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the Fortuna. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, comms. XO, let's discuss the situation. Yeah, let's discuss it. Well, XO, you heard the distress call. What are your recommendations? Afraid um... not, this is the real deal. Those Starfleet regs, we're the closest ship to the Fortuna, so it's our duty to assist. Okie dokie. Not usually, no. Good instincts. 
How would you proceed here? Scanning for an hour. Yeah, the warp core is failing. They could explode. We don't have an hour. We don't need red alert and load weapons because we don't know why it's failing, so we'll just do the shields up. Good call. There's something about this that's not sitting right with me. Agreed. Yellow alert. Surveyor, bring the shields could up. Could be a trap. Get down to the transport Since it's a so tutorial, it probably is a trap. There. That's pretty rad. Desmond, the Fortuna should be in range. Give me an update. I'm getting some weird readings. I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenario. Need them over now. Good job. The wrong Hang guy. On. You didn't scan the life form before beaming it over? Shields up. Armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find, and then repel any borders you come across. You let us worry about that. Right now, I need you doing what you can to get those Klingons off my ship. Bet you're glad you took that phaser course now, huh? Shoot straight and stay safe down there. Over here, Exo. We need you to unlock the armory. <laughs> You have to enter the command code! I do? Grab a rifle! We need to deal with the Klingons! I'll grab a rifle, alright. Now, pick it up, it's in your inventory. Inventory, you have to add it to your body. We're going to engineering, but hurry. There's a lot of them. Don't tell me what to do. Security to engineering. We are under attack. That's not your console. Aiming, I don't think, does much unless you get a trait that helps you with aiming. Same with crouching. 
crouching We're doesn't really... boarding parties on multiple decks, XO. Our security teams are spread thin. I need you to get to engineering and keep it secure. It's bound to be a priority target for the enemy. In the future, once you get different traits, which you have a bunch of traits here, they all unlock at different levels. You have your reputation, you got your skills. Reputation is over here, which unlocks when you're at, I think, level 50. So all the stuff for your ship to upgrade, all the stuff for yourself. Uh, once you get a, a trait that'll help you with your crouch, it'll raise your defense, so it's harder for you to be shot at. Lead the way, Exo. We've got your back. I'd rather get you guys get my front so I don't get shot in the face. Throwing daggers and swords and batlets and all sorts of hand to hand combat. <clears throat> you have no idea how happy I am to see you. They were looking for something in here. I can't imagine what, though. I mean, they have warp and impulse tech. What else would be in engineering? Especially since the ship's a complete mess thanks to them. Is there a part they didn't shoot? Sorry. I could really use your help, since you're here. As I was saying, the ship's taken a lot of damage. I'll do what I can to get the essentials online, but I could use some help. See anything you could do in here? So right here how it says engineer. If you're a tactical officer or a science officer, you're probably not going to have that option as an engineer, so you're going to have something else to do. So there are some missions within the game where if you are a tactical officer, you can only do tactical aspects. So if you want to get every different branch of storyline in that one episode, you need three different characters. But it's not much of a difference. But a lot of us people who started playing Star Trek Online back when it first went free to play, uh, we have, I mean, I have ten different characters. So there were some where you wanted a ground tactical officer just kicked ass on ground killed everybody drop kick from t one drop kick kill somebody uh, you would have to have a character specifically traded and skilled in ground combat if you wanted a space tactical officer you'd have to create a new character but since then the game has made it to where you can change your skills whenever you want to so your one character for tactical can be 100% skilled towards ground, 100% skilled towards space, S to a point, because you can also get uh, retrain skills, um, basically a little token to retrain all of your skills. So some of it will be geared more toward ground, some will be geared more towards space. And then your reputation unlocks as you create your, as you complete your daily projects. Okay. I need you to get the structural integrity field out of the red. It's sitting at 15%, and that's, well, bad. I need you to boost the power flow and distribution rate at the two consoles back there. You'll need to stabilize the overall calibration, too, at the central console here. Got it? Yes. 
and I will say that I've mostly skipped most of the storylines in okay. half the game. Four stable. Life support is optimal. Yes. Mainly just because I wanted to just get everything completed, get caught up. Didn't much care about the storyline, although they do have pretty good storylines. Shipwide comms online. Glad you're still with us. We could use a hand up here. We've taken casualties, and the Klingons could send more boarding parties at any time. Do what you need to do down there, and report to the bridge. Head back to the bridge. We'll cover this deck. Two different turbos. Who is in command here? Speak now! Probably the I'm dude Captain sitting Shaker. in the chair in the middle of the room. I am Ta'ula of House Woka. Surrender now, Captain. Huh. Why speak evil? Request denied. Get off my ship. Get off my ship. If you insist, Captain. Don't do. showing you how much damage you could actually take at the beginning because there are so many different shield variations and body armor that you can get Secure the and, We've oh, wrong and my hypo heals your health but not your shields so uh, here's your health here's your shield I'll try to find the Klingon ship. I'll be okay. Thanks to you. I owe you one. Oh, thought I was done for. Thanks. That was intense. Klingons. We just fought Klingons. Your medical assistance was adequate. Necessary. I thank you. What, what happened here? Incoming transmission from the Klingons. Do I have your attention, Starfleet? Captain, are you all right? Silence. Surrender your ship and all classified data within it to me. Immediately! No. Safer, order your crew to do as I say. No. And so, follow my orders to the letter. Fire on my position. Yes, sir. <gasps> Spoken like a Klingon captain. Now die like one. Can't trade information for one person's life. That information can kill millions. What do we do now? Needs of the many. I wish they would have given your character a voice. Or maybe a selection of voices that you can choose to tailor to your character. Look, 
Et tu Et tu rêves Mais tu la perds, tu as Non I don't know Klingon, so I'm just assuming they're translating it correctly for me. We're still here. Most of us, anyway. The captain. Look, the captain knew what was at stake. He gave the order, and you followed it. If you hadn't, we'd probably all be dead now. So... You're the captain now. We're with you. Let's make his sacrifice count. Well, this game wouldn't be much fun if you were the first officer the entire time, so it only made sense for your captain to die. Hey, I got a bridge officer. So, bridge officer, she has a high yield torpedo. And I don't have any others because I'm a new character. So, I'll also put her as my away team. And she has a photon grenade. Now, one thing that you're really going to want to do is figure out how you want your power settings on your ship to be. Either blow stuff up really fast, have decent shields, or you can make it to where you are very hard to kill. by bringing your auxiliary power and your shields up. So auxiliary is your ship heals, your shields, obviously your shields. But for now, I always like locking that one, turning down shields a little bit, which will raise my heels and my engines. All right. <clears throat> All decks have reported in. We took some casualties and sick bay is full. All systems have taken damage, but some were hit worse than others. Life support is stable. Past that, it's not exactly optimal. Let's move some stuff over. So if there's a green square around it, you can right click on that. That'll tell you if it'll be on auto fire or not. Sometimes, especially at low level, I don't like my torpedoes to be on auto fire. Working on it. Still running under cloak. We knocked them around pretty good before they slinked off with their tail between their legs. That said, we're in rough shape ourselves. Sure we are. Damage control teams are assigned. We put out all the fires and started patching the hole breaches, but it's going to take a while. We um, we'll get the critical systems back online as soon as we're able, Captain. Still reading their distress signal. I can break through the jamming at short range. Shall I hail them? Sure, why Opening not? Opening hailing frequencies now, Captain. Greetings, uh, Captain. Uh, thank you for coming to my aid. I must apologize. I sent the distress signal under duress. Uh, I'm sure you'll do the same with a Klingon disruptor pointed at your head. Quite so, Captain. Our Klingon friends took pains to make my plight look convincing, uh, to the point of damaging my warp drive beyond function. Uh, at the risk of uh, wearing out my welcome, would you be so kind and assist me? I'd uh, rather not be around if the Klingons come back. As you level up, you're going to get extra traits and everything that you're going to put here and different captain. abilities. Uh, apologies. I'll <clears> wait for your command now on. Keep moving. Yeah. Weird. Scanning in progress. They need three or four warp induction coils, tops. We can spare a few. Thanks. Oh, and uh, good luck with the Klingons, my young friend. You'll need it. Sure, thanks. Can't say I blame them. I wouldn't want to fight Klingons in a tub like that either. Speaking of Klingons, 
We have a problem. Most of our plasma injectors are a wreck. See, plasma injectors are made to take a beating, but this damage goes way beyond what would happen in a fight. Pretty sure the Klingons sabotaged them when they boarded us. They wanted to strand us here. Tamav is installing our spare injectors, but we're three short. Without those, we can't go to warp. We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here, Captain. There's wreckage throughout the system. I recommend scanning the derelicts nearby. We may be able to find and recover intact plasma injectors from the wreckage. Oh, that's a good idea. Scanning in progress. I'm picking up a few compatible parts in the wreckage. Blast off the outer casings on those units and we can get what we need. I'd rather not breach the core after we go to warp because of a full system meltdown. And that can happen with dicey injectors. Right. I'm on it, Captain. While engineering deals with the warp core, we're stuck here. We need critical systems back online ASAP. It's a sure bet the Klingons are making repairs. And they aren't as safety concerned as we are. They might be back and shooting faster than we'd like. We're on it, Captain. I located several Klingon military satellites nearby. Ian thinks we'll be able to reach Starfleet if we destroy the satellites, and I agree. Besides, we could use a little more target practice. Most weapons come into range at 10 kilometers. There's a couple that will shoot further than that. Target destroyed. Two more to go. Warning. Ship is under attack. So this weapon has a firing arc right there. This weapon in the back has that target arc. Shoot another torpedo at that one. So if you line up two different arcs, you can shoot twice. Stop, you are persistent, little cold. Die well. And I like waiting until my uh, target's One shields are down before are firing back, torpedoes. Shall that I way you get a nice direct signal? hit. That Klingon ship took some real damage during the fight. I bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. No argument here. I'd rather not get blown up by Klingons on a cadet cruise. Or, you know, ever, really. <laughs> Scanning now. Sending you the data now. We can trace their plasma signature right back to the source. It'll show up on the map. It's pretty far from us. We should travel at full impulse to reach it. This will temporarily take power from the other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. It does take a little while for your power levels to correct themselves after going full impulse. Weapon power is dropping pretty quick. So you usually want to drop out of full impulse a little sooner than when you reach your target area. Klingon ships decloaking, Captain! Now 
there are bridge officer abilities for tactical that will reduce Captain, your while we have the opportunity, cooldowns. It might not be a bad idea to review some of the basic starship combat files. Wouldn't hurt to be ready when the next group of enemies attack us out here. Sure, why not? It's basically just telling you about firing arcs. Shoot from behind, shoot from the front, shoot from the side. It would be wise not to follow me. Cowardly, but wise. Thirty seconds to use my high yield torpedo, which in this ship shoots two torpedoes at the same time. Transmission, Captain. It's a Starfleet vessel, the Sabrova. This is Captain Thykir Shran. We've received your signal. What happened here? I see. Ever since they acquired their cloaking device, they've been getting bold, even for Klingons. You're lucky to be alive, Cadet. Which reminds me, you're on Captain Schaefer's ship. Where is he? Um. Did you follow his orders? Yeah. I see. Unfortunate. I served with Anton on the Endeavor. He was a fine officer. We could use more like him. I take it you're the acting captain then? Acting? Very well. Schaefer didn't place trust in his officers lightly. If he chose you to be his XO, he knew you could get the job done. I'll expect the same. Our first order of business is getting your ship and crew to safety. We'll escort you to make sure you get back in one piece. I'm sure they are. And if they're foolish enough to come back looking for a fight, they'll get one. In the meantime, set a course for our position. Sabrova, out. Oh, there's those bastards again. Check in on another Starfleet vessel when we received your distress signal. That vessel is still not responding to hails. Considering what happened to you, I'm beginning to fear the worst. I'm going to investigate, and I want you to join me. If the Klingons are up to no good in that system, I'll need backup. I know it's asking a lot, but we're at war. Consider this a field promotion, Cadet. You have your orders. Sweet. So I'm pretty much at an hour for this uh, tutorial, so I'll come back and do the second part of the tutorial this, in another video. This feels wrong, doesn't it? I mean, the captain just got killed by a House Mokai matriarch over something she thought we had on board. Shouldn't we be chasing her instead? <sighs> You're right. You're right. For all we know, this Ja'ula could be behind what happened to that other ship. We should help them. I'll get back down to engineering, Captain. We are ready to go to work when you are. 